Um, my name is Laurie White. I'm the curator of this show. I have been volunteering with the 5050 for a couple of years and have organized a few shows here, but um, I also just started at UVic, so some of the pieces that I was seeing by the students there inspired me to curate this show based on color, and then it kind of evolved and became about color, light, and line. So there's a few pieces here that kind of exemplify all of those ones. There's Charles's pieces are really great. They have that kind of color and line thing going on. Liz's pieces in the back, they're more about the light and the color, but the more I thought about it, I realized that these were kind of the foundation principles of any fine art, especially in painting, that kind of color, light, and line were all these kind of really core core ideas about contemporary or traditional painting but I think what's interesting with these works is that uh, they all focus on those ideas maybe individually or or together and kind of explore them as ideas within themselves so um, like Emily's piece is a really great example of just exploring uh, found examples of color and kind of um, con color for consumerism or something like that and bringing it together in this trying to order it in a kind of spectrum or um, and again with uh, Liz's pieces her neon pieces those are kind of uh, found examples of color but then we get examples like Graham's pieces that are mixed colors and he's doing a very kind of graphic hand painted line whereas my piece over there is purely about line and how this develops with the human hand. Um, but yeah, I think it's really come together quite nicely. It's uh, it's good to have so many different kinds of media in the gallery, lots of like painting, drawing, light installation, video and sculpture as well. So yeah, I'm really pleased. done completely with pen and ink, uh, kind of just uh, happened, I guess you could say. I started with a few sort of gestural, conceptual lines and um, it just kind of took off from there. I usually just like to play with the medium that I work with and then go from there. Uh, so working with pen and ink is kind of interesting, it just um, really released a lot of things but it was also a very tight uh, 
sort of process to think about all the lines and all the different shapes and the color areas that I was making. Um, yeah, so it was fun to just experiment with it and the sort of uh, shapes that came out of it were very interesting and unique and then you could just kind of let it grow and everything just changed from there. So it was a lot of fun to make it and it definitely will take me in some new directions too. So. So I'm Graham McCauley, here with my painting. I guess it's just, um, it's really a, a painting about nothing more than me painting. Um, I just really wanted to have, I really wanted to have a whole lot of fun painting a picture. And um, I really wanted to get outside of anything about me really working towards anything or wanting to work wanting wanting anything in a painting other than the the idea of me painting and the the just the total I, I find it absolutely attractive the idea of me just uh, dipping a paintbrush in some paint and painting and um, or w working with uh, oil pastels working with pencils and pencil crayons and colors and just going with that so I just I wanted to roll with that, and um, so it went really. So it's just, it was kind of, it's just a, a building experience, and um, develop, developing through and kind of trying to figure out which marks or which develops, developments were important to me through the process. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't really know what to say after the fact or what to say was really came out as um, being important in the end other than just having a good time I guess it was um, but you know and I, I know what it means it means more than that to me but like I think just some kind of idea of working working towards a result working towards a final composition, a structure, but not so much worrying about the effect of that, of that composition and structure, and just trusting that that'll just work itself out was just a very, it was an interesting, it was a, a really liberating experience. And as a result of working in that process of just that absolutely free form, kind of naive process, a little bit childish, I um, had some other ideas um, towards working with some more um, concept-based process um, to do with this uh, light piece that I've got over here. Um, and that was kind of more of a, a slow, thought-out process. Um, and I, I wanted to be a bit more, a bit more direct, a bit more contained. Uh, and just a, a bit more, a bit more um, conscious, I guess, of um, someone being stuck in a, a, a process of looking at a piece. Because in this, it was kind of, it was very much just me looking at something, and that kind of weird process of you, you're kind of drawing something out, and you're really looking at something, and you're kind of thinking like, I want to put a mark here, and why do I want to put a mark here? And it's just, it's just totally just for no real reason other than just. You know, I want to. So that's kind of that's that's how this came out, and then that's how um, that other piece, uh, the like, just kind of came out of that. It's just a uh, total, just um, just kind of step away from that. And uh, yeah, I don't know if there's really anything else to be said about that. So this is my piece. I've called it accumulation, and it's. It's a very simple process that I set in motion every time and each time it will be slightly different. I basically start with the top, the straight edge of the top of the page and I try and copy this line and then I copy the, that line and so on and all the discrepancies that are created through my human hand have become exaggerated and reverberated and actually the first time I thought when I would do it before I had actually done it I imagined that it would just get totally crazy by the end but actually what happens is that 
certain features become exaggerated and then as other ones get bigger they get smaller and it's kind of this interesting kind of evens itself out overall um, it's pretty simple materials as well it's just like a white inked pen on brown paper but I'm really happy with the optical effect I think I like to uh, sort of shy away from the notion of color like using color in my work or content like I I find those quite hard to deal with so I prefer something where I just set a very simple process in motion and watch it unfold and it's it's one of a few of these pieces that I've tried to do I'm gonna try again uh, with slightly different formats for example I'm gonna try one that's like a starting from the very center of a dot and then going outwards and maybe this will be more indicative of things like tree rings it might kind of start to represent other things or I, I'd also like to try doing a more large-scale piece maybe on a whole wall and see how that is interesting because um, there's kind of a duality when you experience this work because of the you can get quite close up and appreciate the line but then as you get further away there's these interesting sort of vibrations um, and it kind of does funny optical tricks but um, it's yeah it started off as an experiment and I'm going to try doing more of them I, I'm really interested in the notion of kind of process artwork where you just set a process in motion it's really good for me because I don't have to think about it anymore while I'm doing it I can just listen to music or an audiobook or something and I'm not really personally very involved in the work um, except through my my labor and then yeah